Gospel of April the 21st, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on I will I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us dwell a little bit deeper into this beautiful gospel. Beautiful and so profound that we could spend the rest of our lives speaking about it and meditating everything. I'm just going to ponder a few, a few points. The first one is this. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet. That Jesus washed the disciples' feet is enlightened by the fact of the central point, in my point of view right now, of this segment of the Gospel, where he says, so that you may believe that I am. When I pronounce it in English, I am, it's a very common expression. If I would pronounce it in Greek, ego eimi, a few of you might know what I'm saying. And if I would pronounce it in Hebrew, Jave, many of you would ring a sound to it. I know that is the name of God. Yes, it is the name of God. Jesus is telling them plainly that you believe that I am God. And God himself has kneeled down before every of his disciples, including the one that was going to betray him, to wash his feet. So, that every one of us that call ourselves Christians are called to do the same, such as our, bigger, as our biggest brothers, our, our, our brother Jesus and God has taught us and done, so we must do, starting with those who have been called to his service, and those are the bishops, the priests, and the deacons. We all are obliged, without any presumption, to kneel down before everyone and wash your feet. And if we do that, it's the second part where the Lord says, Amen, Amen. No slave is greater than his master, any, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. So we are not more than God. We absolutely cannot be more than Jesus Christ. No one is above the Christ. No one. It doesn't matter whether there can be any law or whatever thing where all the people in the world might say the Pope is, 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 speaks on the name of God. He cannot be greater than Jesus himself. For Jesus is the absolute. He is God himself. He is revealing himself to be God. And none of us is God. We all are servants and co-servants between us to serve the only God. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. So we have to do our vocation, we have to follow our vocation and our work, especially the apostolic work, in this sense, in this knowledge, that we are just servants and slaves and messengers of the one who sent us, and that we should be treated not even equally to the way he was treated, but even less in that way. If we were to know that, and we were to respond to our vocation, then we would know that our sure end would be the crucifixion. And if the Lord was bitten so many times, I might be given even more. And thus, if I accept it, then I am blessed, just as the Lord has said, because I know my place. And then he says, I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. And among those very twelve was a demon. The one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. So sad that Judah the Iscariot would betray the Lord. 
but especially the one who ate my food. I believe, and I would like you to ponder, if you are a priest and share the Eucharist with the Lord, are you behaving correctly? Are you not betraying Him? Because if you betray Him, even though you have been given that vocation, that calling, you are doing exactly and even worse than the Iscariot. Because the Iscariot didn't read the Gospels and didn't know anything. But you do. You have done. You have been prepared and enthused, empowered by the Holy Spirit. And yet you do not want to repent. Cry at least. Ask for the Lord in His mercy to help you out. And count on my prayers too for you, wherever you are. I am telling you before it happens, so when it happens you may believe that I am. Like I said, Ego Eimi, Yahweh. So the Lord is telling us absolutely clear, being absolutely clear, that He is God Himself. And now He says, Truly, truly, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I sent, receives, the one I sent receives me, and then receives the one who sent me. So if we know that He Himself is God, and we receive Him, but then we not only receive the Son, but we receive the Son, I mean the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And who is the one who is sent? Well, believe it or not, even someone as lowly as I am, when in this work, in this moment, while I am speaking or trying to speak the words of God, I am being sent to you, and if you open your hearts, you're not only receiving my words and my voice or my image, you are actually receiving the one who has sent me to you, which is the Lord Jesus. And in the process, you are also receiving, as I said, receiving, as I said, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Trinity look upon all of you with love and, mer and mercy, and may He shine His face on all of us. God bless you all, brothers.